Hi, in this video we will learn how to use a fuzzy select tool. So basically we have this image and we want to extract out the image of this dog out of this bigger image. So how do we do that? So first of all, since we can see you know, the image is quite large, so first step would be to just crop the image. So we will be using this rectangular select tool and then we will surround the dog and then we will go to image and then crop to selection so now we have got uh, we have um, we have cropped the image and now what we will do is we will zoom it out a bit so just to make it visible and now we will be using fuzzy select tool so basically so right now there is some problem and it's not getting selected and this is because of some selection issues just go to select and then click on none and now it, everything will get selected also this is the tool or options which are visible generally just below the toolbox so if you are using other mode then it will be visible just below this these icons and it will be very easy to note that so also fuzzy select is having four different modes and we will be using these two very frequently so one is add to the current selection and second is subtract from the current selection so what happens is when we use replace the current selection what happens is you can only click or select one selection at a time so it's kind of time consuming because you need to select multiple regions at a time so for that you will be using add to the current selection what it does is it uh, it selects all the regions which you select so let's say we are selecting this then we are selecting this then this then this um, we somehow selected the wrong region because this is the dog's body so we will subtract it later on and now we will just click keep on selecting the areas of the image so there are multiple ways of achieving what we are going to achieve out of this and this is one of the most optimal way of going about it so now we are just selecting the region quickly quickly and we have somehow selected lot we have to ensure that we don't select any wrong region because else we will just keep on doing this activity for long time so this usually takes a few minutes to even 10 or 20 minutes depending on how complex the image is and how better results you want out of your actions So we should concentrate more on the image, the subject, than on the surroundings. So, so let's do one thing. Let's go to layer and then go to transparency and then add alpha channel. So it will introduce transparency to the image. Now what we'll do is we will just subtract the wrong selection. So here we can see the tummy of dog was selected and we will select a few region as well and then we will just remove the, the portion of dog slack and a few more selections a few times it can seem to be a never ending process but if you will keep on doing this then it will bring out really beautiful result so just keep on doing it here we can see a few more selections in the dog's body and yeah mm. and here we can see a few more and now it's pretty much clear so we just to get rid of these extra wise 
wrong selections. Now we have removed very decent amount of selection and now we will just go to select and or we need to delete the selection so either we can just press delete or can just cut it. Now we can see the most of the data is gone, most of the part of the image is gone. And now we will just click on select and then click on none and then manually we will do we will just use eraser and we will try to remove this or just to make it more fast we will just go to the free selection tool and just just freely select the region which we don't want it in our image so this will help us in doing the work a bit faster so just go to cut and cut the, the place now we have got rid of major section and then then just keep on removing it so. and we need to erase a bit of its surrounding as well since this image is very blurry it was very hard for even the tool a fuzzy select tool to understand the region so fuzzy select tool requires very high contrast and brightness and also very less blurriness and this image is very blurry in nature so just to make it sharp we will zoom it a bit and then select the free select tool and then we will just select the region which we don't want just sort of palms of the dog and we are selecting it all through its body and now we have almost done it So again delete this selection it is it is these random spots and then zoom out and now we are going to remove these extra spots as well all through its legs so now only place which is left is this area and a part of and a part of this region so now we are done with uh, selection and getting rid of all the extra uh, spots now we are going to 
zoom out and then we will select the boundary or the surrounding of the story and then we will go to select and then we will go to grow and then we will sele uh, grow selection by two pixels so basically what it did was we will zoom in see So if we will zoom in, then we could we can see that the selection moved two pixels inside the dog or the subject, and then we will go to tools, filters, and then blur, and then Gaussian blur, and here we will add blurriness to the boundary to make it look better and then we are doing the blur radius 3 we are making it 3 and now the edges are blurred and we are just select taking uh, selecting select none and we are just we will just to zoom out and we have a doggy without any background so this is how we extract out an object from the image and the image can have multiple objects so if you want to take out one then we have to use fuzzy select tool and if it's it's getting harder to use fuzzy select tool then we will be using combination of free select tool and then a eraser so this is how we do it. Thank you for watching the tutorial.